Hello, and welcome to another episode of Exact Tax, brought to you by Actionable Insights. This is one of the first Exact Tax we've published in a while, thanks COVID, and I'm excited about it. And as part of the revival of this series, one thing we want to do is recognize some of our friends and partners in the industry, people that have supported Actionable Insights along the way, and we are happy to support them as well. So for this Exact Tax video, we actually have a sponsor. Let's find out who the sponsor is this week. This week's video is brought to you by Cleaning and Restoration Magazine. CNR Magazine is a legacy publication independently serving and partnering with the restoration and cleaning industry. Today, CNR features a bi-monthly print magazine as well as a robust online presence including web exclusive articles, videos, podcasts, industry news updates, and more. Subscribe for free at cnrmagazine.com. Wow, thanks Seth, what a great sponsor. <laughs> On a serious note. Uh, guys, CNR Magazine is doing great work in the industry, putting out incredible content. If you are not following Michelle Blevins, CNR Magazine, go ahead and do yourself a favor and start following today. All right, let's check into the exact tax video for this week. All right, so in today's video, I want to talk about logging into X1 for the first time and syncing some of your profiles. As you can see here on my screen, I have Xactimate 1 open, and it's asking me to log in with my Xactimate ID. Uh, we're going to log in with support at getinsights.org. I have my uh, password actually pre-loaded pre here, so I'm just going to hit Control V. Sorry, I can't share my password with you guys. Um, and you're going to see here, when I log in for the first time into X1, it's going to give me the option to select certain profiles that I want to sync. Now, some of these profiles may be new to you, but I can guarantee there are at least two here that are pretty standard. Every single Xactimate program comes with two profiles, a carrier profile and a contractor profile. Generally, if you've ever been to one of our uh, Xactimate Estimating and Digital Assets class, you'll know that we prefer the carrier profile. It does more, uh, it doesn't limit, uh, like almost all of the features in contractor are in carrier, plus there's a lot more in carrier. Although for my contractors out there, there are some reports that are only available in the contractor profile. Lots of videos around contractor profile versus carrier profile that you can find in this exact tax series. But when you are logging into X1 for the first time, you actually need to add those profiles to your account. Now, in this particular video, we're going to look for the carrier profile, the contractor profile. Now, there are some other profiles that I have access to under our Support I Get Insights account. Uh, these are, for example, like the Liberty Mutual profile would be a carrier specific profile. If I am doing uh, program work for Liberty Mutual, then I would probably need the Liberty Mutual profile. Um, if it's program work, if I'm just doing normal work, and then I would likely use just the carrier. Uh, in this particular example, let's also sync the actionable insights profile. Actually, you know, let's go ahead and, and sync it onto the Veris profile. Uh, and let's hit next here. You'll see it's going to sync up a lot of my data so that when I open up X1 for the first time, I'm logged in. It has access to all my files in the cloud. And ultimately, I'll have at least the contractor and the carrier profile plus any additional profiles I may have opted to sync. Uh, as you can see here, it is telling me as it updates and, uh, and loads each individual profile into my Xactimate. All right, as you can see here, we now have Xactimate open. I have no local files because this is the first time that I'm logging into X1 on this computer with this uh, particular login. I can go to the cloud here and I can uh, probably see some of the older files that I've worked on uh, in Xactimate online with this account and others. Uh, so hopefully for those of you that are transitioning to X1 this year, this gives you a good preview of the first time you log into X1, what is it going to look like? What do I need to do? Uh, log in with your account, same as always, and make sure you sync the profiles that you want to use when you're creating estimates. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video wherever you're watching. Uh, and thank you for watching another Exact Tech. See you next week.